Hey all, welcome back to Goodie Men. Uh, off screen, I did a little bit of grinding, not enough to get the uh, ribbon just yet, but I did get an upgrade to the gas mask, which we're gonna actually be using soon, and one upgrade to the monkey hat just because, whatever, why not? I haven't upgraded the goggles yet, but we're not gonna be using those until the second of these, I don't think. But yeah, uh, in theory, I should be able to get through Bracken Hollow, at least, with not too much issue, and by that point, either I'll have enough to where I can just buy the ribbon outright, or I will be able to just uh, go and grind just a little more, because I averaged about like a thousand to two thousand pockles per level, or per run, I guess, when grinding. With the monkey hat equipped, by the way. But with that said, let's begin. Or, I guess, let's watch this, because I forgot I didn't watch that in the last video. You're back! We have been waiting, baby! I finally got you two together. You think you can do it this time? No problemo! Wait until you see the Super Mole Brothers in action! Ready, brother? Oh, run and roll! Ha! That was quick! Oh! Brothers can do anything if they work together! Good! Now you can get through! We've got to split! But if you need anything, we'll come running, baby. If I could find you again, no thanks. <laughs> oh, guess now's a good time to head on in. Not for getting ourselves a little bit of helpful advice from old Cuckoo over here. Let's say we equip the gas mask, shall we? And here's what we're going to be... Okay, that wasn't who I was trying to lock onto, but hey, it works. Here's what we're going to be locking onto. God damn it. Here's what we're going to be using the gas mask for, at least for right now. These guys, um, their only way of attacking you is just to spray poison gas at you, and if you have the gas mask equipped, you can get past them without any way of getting damaged by them. Also, they are weak to fire damage, so keep that in mind. Oh, um, another thing I did off-screen, um, I did take it upon myself to buy some drill parts. Uh, specifically, one to do the lunging attack, that one, and one to do the missile kick. I forget what exactly those parts were called. Maybe the manual will say? Let me just check. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't be under manual. It would be under special notes. Okay, I guess it doesn't say what parts, but... Hey. It does show that I have them. We only have like two more sets of parts we can buy, I guess. Well, there are other parts in the game. As we'll see eventually. Did I flip that already? I don't remember. You have to have both of these flips. Flips. You have to have both of these switches flipped in order to get past here. Also, these guys, uh, you need to hit them with fire parts in order to free them. So, of course, if you're trying to go for completion, that's what you want to do. So, that was an accident. Have I explained that uh, weird 
mid-air critical thing yet. I'm not entirely sure what causes it, but it just happens kind of at random for me. I guess it's just like you do this uppercut attack by like hitting both A and X at the same time. Uh, a being the jump button, X being the attack button on my map A. I guess when you're in the air, it just, like, does that when you homing attack. I'm not entirely certain. Oh, hang on. Let's not use these just yet. Let's break the pods real quick, but I do want to save the stuff I can drill into for a little bit later. And by a little bit later, I mean after I'm done breaking these pots. Actually, I also put on a monkey hat right now so I can get a little bit more coins from here. Anyway, what's this? Well, check out this sign. Yeah, this over here is not actually, I don't think this is required to be done in order to clear the level, but there is some stuff that we can get from here, if we so desire. So, insert a coin in the slot, and you can get the Duder to fight. There's a certain amount of these, and the price goes up with each of them, but... Eventually, once you've got all of them taken care of, you'll get a proper reward for your time. I don't remember what exactly you get, but I think it's some kind of piece of headgear. And, yeah, I'm actually killing it this time. I did a practice run of this, just to refresh myself on what all we had to do in here, because I don't remember which of these levels has which parts to it. Hey, he's down. Oh yeah, and also be careful when you get to here, because uh, Gudeman doesn't have some kind of like meter, or not, not meter, some kind of like noise to let you know when you're low on health, aside from just the bar up there. So once you get low on health, you'll have no way to know, and you'll basically be on your own as far as figuring it out. So yeah, do be careful here. Said. Let's use up a cookie while we're here. Actually, let's use up two of them because I don't think we need that much as far as cookies for this. Yeah, and while I was doing practice run, I got a game over to this guy. I imagine you can tell why. Because he's like. God damn it. He's like just kind of rapidly moving around, and it's hard to get his armor off when he does that. Also, he hits like a truck. Hang on. Maybe I need to use shock parts to get now. Actually, I think this is a guy we need the uh, first set of parts that I don't have just yet. In order to, like, get his weak. Yes, I know, this is some exciting combat. Absolutely thrilling to watch.
Or, oh, no. That's all of them. Ah, uh, joke glasses. Never mind, that wasn't what I was thinking it was. So yeah, maybe, uh, maybe it is a good idea to wait to come back here until you got the other dude, Adam and Bob. But yeah, joke glasses, um, you might think by the description of it they're gonna be head equipment, but they're not. They're actually something you want to give someone. Uh, someone way later, actually, so... Yeah, there's not really any benefit to doing that early, except, I guess, getting more pockles quicker. Because you do get a lot of pockles from that, as you can see. Like, that almost, like... That was almost 10,000 total. As far as net gain. I'm not entirely sure why they make you go back before you can go further on here, but... Oh well. So I guess over here, um, I made a little mistake in assuming that I could go through this whole thing without needing to worry about the goggles. Oh well. Guess I'll just get an upgrade for that off screen. that door. I think some, uh, milk's come out that way, so just keep that in mind. But also keep in mind, down here, there's a little bit of a trick to this spot. And I'm gonna, let's see if you can spot it. Yeah, right down here, there's a little bit of hole for us to go into, and through this hole, we got a shortcake. More shortcake. Alright. And, uh, just sink down here. I guess I'm going to continue uh, using 
using the goggles for a little bit, because there is some more stuff hidden down in the water here. And I don't think any of these enemies are strong enough to be too much of a threat, but I need to switch to the other guys right now. I think that's all of them. Let's just use a cookie. I don't think I won't waste a shortcake just yet. Right, over here is mystery bag. So, let's get back out. Uh... Alright, and with that, we are at the end of this level. Yeah, um, what was this place called? The, um... Spinach Caverns, yeah. I'm gonna say Spinach Caverns, like, real quick, Spinach Caverns is probably my least favorite of all the levels that's in the game. Um, I guess I could go a little deeper into why that is, but I don't really want to. Um, but I guess real quick, let's, uh, do some stuff in Monster Village. Or not Monster Village, in the town. Tease the town. Uh, first things first, I guess, uh... Actually, wait, no, why would I be talking to Cylinder? I've, I've already got all this crap. Uh, just a power rail. I guess I can come in handy later. Disc is who I want to talk to right now. Uh, oops, wrong button. So I want to buy the ribbon. And also, I want to upgrade the ribbon twice. So I think the ribbon is going to be a little more important for combat at least than the goggles are. Anyway, um, might as well put that on while we're here. Doesn't it look heckin' precious? Yeah, that's what I usually have on when I'm just like wandering around levels. Uh, especially like in set 4, because I don't think there's any water in the 4th set. Taking on the second level of the Sponge Caverns, Forgotten Den. So, until then, uh, 